Previously on Farmer Luke. Yeah, clear, and I imagine so that'll be fun. Box shifting. But I'm not box shifting. Now I'll give you a couple of three pounds. Boy, this is helping shift the grade. I'm Morty, pick your favourite son. Here we go. No. Farmer Clive's favourite son. We'll see you tomorrow's episode. Wherever he goes, it helps Farmer Joe to shift boxes, tail boxes, or Farmer Luke shift the grader out of the shed. Here we go. No, Who's doing it in the morning? there's no farmer clive haven't seen him haven't heard from him so that can only mean one thing he's gone to go and help farmer jordan out it's gotta be it's just gotta be but anyway uh we need to go and do some stuff well i need to do some stuff because i need to clear this out because we need to put some crop in here so all the grain equipment from last year needs to be packed away that needs to be cleared up that definitely needs to be cleared up we need to go and find homes for all this stuff um yeah Fun times, not my favourite job. Need to get some energy, need to get some motivation to do this. So, um, gotta get on with life. Let's go. I'll start tidying this pigsty up. <laughs> not gonna lie gonna lie i was thinking about editing that out but i was like no show the realness yeah i i, I messed up there a little bit luckily there's not much damage on it thank god anyway let's get this cleared up <laughs> Grader's off, but well, grader's not off, but it's off the blocks it was on. So we have to put it on blocks to get the levels right for the weigher and so forth. Uh, that was interesting, to say the least. I jacked it up and got the blocks out, but I kind of, it, it makes you realise how quick stuff can happen. Like for one minute it was okay, safe, the next minute it was rolling back towards me. So lucky enough, I'm still here, but it's a very good reminder for myself to be a bit more careful when we do stuff, definitely. So it's a warning to everyone out there, think about what you're doing. I should have put something on the front to stop it from moving. I didn't, it's just me here. I was just trying to get this done quickly. Look what happened. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's safe. It's all right now, I'm gonna try and drag it out of the way, put it in the shed. Here we go. Wish me luck on this one. <laughs>
thought that was going to be absolute carnage if I was on, honest, and then I ended up, end up hitting something with it. It's quite hard by, you don't go on it by yourself, so you can see stuff like that. But if you're wondering why I'm still on by myself, Farmer Clive has still not rocked up yet, and we're now in the afternoon, so I've got this feeling that he's not going to come. So uh, that kind of answers the question, I think. There's still time, there's still time. But early indications, our exit poll says that Farmer Clive's favourite son is Farmer Jordan. Unbelievable. Anyway, just more sweeping and tidying. I've been really steady today. This is one of the mo most unglamorous, mo unmotivational jobs you can do is tidying a shed out, seriously. Anyway, I love chit chat, more sweep, sweep, clean, clean. Yeah, that rhymes. We've made some progress, believe it or not. We've done a first sweep, we're now on the second sweep. Uh, I've managed to <clears throat> lose my voice, but also I managed to make a pile that we're going to chuck away. I've gone through the spanners and stuff, so I made some places to put some other stuff. Um, yeah, so we made a bit more progress this afternoon. It's just an absolute. It's just a job note where to start with stuff like this, but at least just have a sweep tomorrow, and then that should be good enough to tip, well, sweep and then hoover it out, and then we'll tip some barley in it. So even though it doesn't look like I've made progress, I have. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. I hate doing this job. In other news as well, Farmer Clive has not turned up today. Didn't turn up whatsoever. He hasn't rang me, nothing. So to answer the question at the start of the video, who is Farmer Clive's favourite son? I hate to admit, it's Farmer Jordan. It's Farmer Jordan. The proof is here. So, on that bombshell, that is it for the day. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe, tell your friends and family. And uh, I'm not saying goodbye to Farmer Clive because he's not in my good books. I'm not his favourite son. So I'll say goodbye to you guys. Uh, I'll see you all later.